Hello, Shane. Hello, Fabiana. Hello, nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. And Juan, how are you? Hi, hi, Shane. Good to see you. Yeah, it's nice to see you too. And Adela, how are you? Hi, nice to see you. Good to see you. And Antonio, how are you? Hi, Shane. I'm doing well, thank you. Good. And Jose? Hi. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are I'm you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. And Elson, how are you? Hello, I'm very good. How are you? I'm good. Okay, I'm good. And Abdul, how are you? Nice to see you as well. And Juan, how are you? Hi. Abdul, go ahead and close that other window so that we don't get the echo. echo. Really? All right, guys. So, um, welcome to class. Welcome to class. Abdul, I think you have um, either your mics turned up too loud or your speakers, or you have the Colingo.com window open because there's a lot of noise coming from your end. So check and make sure that that other window is closed. So, all right, guys. Well, welcome to class. Uh, my name is Shanae. I'm from the United States. I live in California. And today we are going to talk about the Big Bang Theory, which I know a lot of you are. <laughs> which I know a lot of I you laugh are, a lot. I, I know a lot of you are, are fans of. And um, we're also going to be working on prepositions of place. So let's have everyone um, introduce themselves. Um, so if you could just say your name and where you're from and answer the question, where do you normally watch TV? So I normally watch TV in my living room. Um, either that or I normally watch TV at my mom's house. One of the two. So, um, I don't know where Abdul went, but um, Adela, can you introduce yourself for us? Uh, yes, I am Adela. I'm from Spain. I work as a teacher and normally I watch uh, TV uh, in the dining room. In the dining room? Okay. Yes, because uh, I watch the news ah. uh, during the lunch or, or the dinner. <laughs> nice. Exactly. Good. And Antonio? Hi, my name is Antonio Carlos, and I'm from Brazil, and I normally watch documentary, uh, The Big Bang Theory. Um, um, where? I know that's, what? Where do you normally watch TV? Um, the Big Bang Theory, other series. Well, that's what that's, that's that's what that's what you watch. But where do you normally watch it? Oh, where? Ah, sorry, yeah. teacher. I <laughs> thought what what. Uh, where I normally uh, watch it in my house. Okay, yeah. All right. Exactly. All right, Elson? Yes, my name is Elson. I'm from Albania, and I usually watch TV in my living room or sometimes in the bedroom. In the bedroom, too? Right. In the bedroom. And uh, Fabiana? Hi, my name is Fabiana. I'm from Brazil. And I normally watch TV in my living room. In the living room? Yeah. And Johnny? Hello, everybody. My name is Johnny. I live in Brazil as well. Uh, actually, I watch TV in my living room, in my bedroom, <laughs> everywhere, uh, 
uh, I don't know uh, where I can find the TV I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Very good. Um, Jose? Hi, my name is Jose. I'm from Costa Rica. I normally uh, like to watch television in my living room. In the living room? Yeah. And uh, Juan? Hi, hi everybody. Hi, Chanay. I am Juan from Mexico. And I normally see TV all around the house. Uh, the only place I miss is the bathroom. In the bathroom. <laughs> we have to get you a TV in the bathroom, Juan. I, I think he seriously <laughs> to put one. <laughs> because, you know, when you get into the top, you can watch some TV programs. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Um, hey, Karim, how are you? Oh, are you there, Kareem? It's me. Hi. Yes. Are you there, Kareem? Yeah. Here. You're there? Okay, perfect. So, Kareem, everyone's introducing themselves and saying where they watch TV. Where do you watch TV? All right, I'll Oh, and you've got you've got another window open, so there's an echo. Close that other window. Um, Kareem, while you're getting set up, Kristoff, would you like to introduce yourself? Are you talking to me? Huh? Yeah, can you hear um, me okay, Kareem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so um, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us where do you normally watch TV? Uh, so my name is Kareem. I'm from Algeria, and I generally watch TV in the, the living room, yeah. In the living room? All right. Uh, for the most of time. Nice. All right. And uh, Christoph? Hello, my name is Krzysztof, I am from Silesia in Poland, and I don't have TV set. But I know you watch lots of TV, so where do you watch TV? Uh, I don't watch TV, I watch uh, movies in a computer. Well, where's your computer at? Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, ah, it's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a laptop? Uh, I have a laptop. I have uh, five uh, stationary computers in my house. Oh, my gosh. So you can watch your show. You know, I am programmer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So, excellent. All right. Very good. Very good, guys. Awesome. Well, um, we definitely always... Um, watching television is is definitely a big... Uh, big part of life these days. So, before we get into prepositions of place, um, we are going to do a little bit of pronunciation. Um, and we're going to talk about the voiced um, TH sound. And um, one thing I want to mention is that when it comes to the voice TH sound, a lot of you from um, Latin countries will change the sound a little bit and make it um, sound like a D sound instead of a T sound. So um, keep that in mind while we're working like that, while we're working on this. So. What I want you to first do is have everyone stick their tongue between their teeth and um, do, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so we're going to, um, 
And actually, that's um, an unvoiced. So now that we have the unvoiced down, let's do the same thing. So put your tongue between your teeth and get some vibration going in your throat. So it's going to sound like... <laughs> so I should be able to hear it a little bit. Because you're, if you put your hands here, you should hear it vibrate. And it'll actually vibrate on your lips a little bit too. There you go. Yeah. 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 So now we're gonna add, um, add a little bit more to this. So um, Marley, really, I don't know why my dogs decide to come in here when I teach class. They're never in here when I don't teach class. When I teach class. <laughs> Hey, let's all go in the computer room with mom. Um, so, all right. So, tongue between your teeth, and we're going to do th. Uh, sound at the end. Th. 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 Now, what I want you to do is keep making it shorter until we get the article th. 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 The. 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 Yeah. The. So, good. Good. The. So, what you um, what you definitely want to do is um, practice this so that it doesn't sound like you're saying "da" or "za." If I don't know if we have anybody from an Asia Asian country, I don't think we do. I think I've got all Latin, with the exception of Kristoff um, and Kareem. Um, a lot of people from Asian um, Asian countries they will substitute the the th the voice th will substitute it with a z with a z sound. So make sure that, that you aren't doing a z sound and you're not doing a D sound that you're actually doing a a, a th sound. So, um, so for example, if I say, Wait. in the library, can everybody say in the library? In the library. In the library. In the library. In the library. Yeah. In the library. Okay. Yeah, Johnny, can you say it for me? Okay. In the library. Good. All right. Elson? In the library. Good. Adela? In the library. Good. Antonio? In the library. Okay, Kristoff? In the library. Good. Uh, Kareem? In the library. Good. Juan? In the library. Good. Fabiana? In the library. Good. And Jose? In the library. Good, Jose. Nice. That was good. All right. So keep this in mind when we're talking. Um, about our prepositions of place because usually when we have a preposition of place it's going to be followed by the. So get that voiced th the, the get that down. So yeah excellent okay um, so let's talk about prepositions. So there um, does everybody know what a preposition is yeah. in on at and yeah we have a lot of prepositions so, yeah. for um, most the they connect it verbs every uh, to other parts of the phrase mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. above below yeah um, a good definition is a preposition Position is anything you can do to a box. Preposition is anything you can do to a box. 
So you can be in the box. You can be on, on the okay. box. Yep. You can be. Um, you can be across from the box. In front of. Beside the box. Beside the box, exactly. So that's a good way. Behind. That's a good way to um, remember what exactly a preposition is. Is anything you can do to a box. So today we're going to talk about three different prepositions. We're going to be talking about on, in, and at. On, in, and at. So first we're going to talk about on. This is probably the most basic of prepositions. This is probably, you, you can't get any more basic than this. Um, can somebody give me a sentence with on? Yeah, the books are on the table. The books are on the table. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Anybody else? The note the the is on, on the desk. desk. Say that again. The Say note. The note. Say that again, Indala. Or was it Kareem? The note is on the door. The note is on the door. Okay, good. 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 The lamp is on the desk. The lamp is on the desk. Good. I, I'm on my way. Go ahead, Fabiana. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. So, normally on is used for things that are resting on a surface. They're resting on a surface. So, for example, um, Adela said the lamp is on the desk. The lamp is resting on the desk. Um, Juan said the books are on the table. The books are actually <laughs> resting on the table. Um, I think it was Kareem said the note is on the door. So the note is actually resting on the door. That's normally how we use on. Um, mm -hmm. But we have some other uses of on as well. So it's used um, for large vehicles. Like the trains? Say that again. Um, on in the trains? Yep, exactly. On the train. On the ship. On the ship. On the aircraft. On the plane. On the plane. On foot. <laughs> You're so tricky, Kareem. You got, you got the one exception. Yes, on foot. Yes. That's not really a vehicle. Can you think of one other vehicle? On foot. Especially my depend my to the size. Bicycle. Mm, on a bicycle. On the car. No, no. Miss no. Chetan. Not on the car. Not on the car. On horse. In the car. What about my, Bra my Brazilian students? What What is a common tra mode of transportation in Brazil? Camel. Background, for example. Subway. Camel. Car. No. On the bus. On the bus. There we go. Thank you, Adela. Yes, on the what? bus. Okay. On the bus. So normally for big vehicles. Um, what about the car is a limousine? Say that again. <laughs> what about the car is a limousine? Lincoln. If the car is a limousine, um, you would still you would say in the limousine. On the limousine. In the limousine. It would actually be in the limousine. Um, we also use on for vehicles. the space shuttle. On the space shuttle, mm -hmm. good. So the other thing that we use on for is for vehicles that you sit on, okay? That you sit on. So um, Christian mentioned she... on a bicycle. That's a perfect e example. On a bicycle, you also on the unicycle. On a motorcycle, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. 
yeah. unicycle. Uh, unicycle, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's also used for animals. So, on oh. a... On a horse. On a horse. On an elephant. On a camel. On an elephant. <laughs> on a giraffe. On the donkey. On the donkey. On rhino, rhinoceros. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Oh, Kareem, we would say on a ship. A ship is a big type of vehicle, so we would say on a ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are some common uses of on. Um, does anybody have any question about on? Mm, on the large, uh, yeah. I have, I have a question, teacher. Sure. Uh, uh, what the different uh, difference uh, between on and above? On and above. Okay. Above, yes. Um, something that let's see, let's see how to explain this. Something that is on something means that it's resting on it, or is it contact. something that is above something means that it is not touching it. Yes, yes. Yeah, so okay, contact, okay. exactly. Okay, clear. Mm -hmm. Clear, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I have a question about stars. Go ahead, Kareem. I have a question about stars. We say on stairs or at stairs? On the stairs. On the yeah. stairs. Mm -hmm. Depending on what you're talking about. <laughs> this prepositions of place can get really tricky. So, um, because... I was teaching a class, oh gosh, a couple months ago on this, and um, we were talking about a corner, like a corner of a street. In the corner of the room, yeah. Or in the corner of the room, exactly. You, it would be in the corner of a room, but it would either be on the yeah. corner or at the corner if it's on a street. So, But we're not going to get into that because we will be here for hours discussing all of the exceptions. <laughs> so um, just just know this, that what I just told you about on, these are the general rules. These are the general ways that we use them. Okay. There is exceptions. Of course. In English there's always exceptions. Yeah. <laughs> Thousands. <laughs> There's no rule in English that has that doesn't have an exception. There's always one. <laughs> so, um, let's talk about in. Um, can anybody give me a sentence using in? In the box. In the say that again, Krista. In the box. In in, in the, box? the box. In the box. In the, in the car. In the bathroom. In the car. Give me, a, give me a sentence. Give me a full sentence. I live in Brazil. I live in Brazil. Perfect. I swim in the water. Mm -hmm. I'm in the bedroom. Say that again, Adela. I'm in the bedroom. I'm in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Johnny, I live in Brazil. <laughs> Uh, piggybacking off of Fabiana. Um, I'm, 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 in, I'm, I'm in trouble. Say that again. I'm in... Trouble. I'm in trouble. Yes, that is correct. You would say I'm in trouble. Why are you in trouble, Kareem? No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. No, it's in trouble. <laughs> I'm kidding. Just an easy. Um, in is also a pretty easy preposition to understand. Um... In is normally used for people or things that are in a closed space, be it big or small. Okay? So, in a house, in a wallet, in England, I'm going to kill this dog, um, in the universe, um, in the cupboard, in um, in the box, like Kristoff said. Um, in the street. In the street. In the USA. In the USA. Exactly. Good. Good, good. Teacher. Uh-huh. 
as I say, uh, in the class or in class? In the class, mm -hmm. or in, in class. the class. It's, you can say in class too. It's fine. Um, some other ways that we use um, in is in a car. Yep. So smaller vehicles, smaller vehicles in a car, in a truck, um, in taxi, in a taxi, in an elevator, in a boat. A boat smaller than an elevator. Um, I mean, a boat, <laughs> a boat smaller than a ship. So things that are smaller, so not these big in a limousine. Um, Juan, you asked about that earlier. A limousine is smaller than a bus. That's my answer for you. <laughs> so since a limousine is smaller than a bus, we're going to say in a limousine. Um, so smaller types of vehicles. We also use in when we're talking about being in some sort of substance. What? So, Can you type? Uh huh. If, in water, in water. In water, in the lake, in the sea, in the ocean. I could say there's a fly. Whoops. Fly. There's a fly in my coffee. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ew. <crap>. <laughs> of <laughs> course, course you coffee. didn't uh, oh, drink yeah. it. <laughs> so yeah. So um, you would use in for substances. Okay. The last preposition I'm going to talk to you about before we get into talking about the Big Bang theory is at. At, at. And at is a little bit trickier. Um, at we, home? In, yeah, uh-huh. We use um, at to describe um, a specific point at the door, at the top, at the bottom, um, at, at the, the corner, at... Um, at, um, well, at weekend. At the end? We actually don't. In America, I know they do in Britain, but um, in the U.S., we do not say at the weekend. In the U.S., we actually say on the weekend. On the, on the weekend. weekend. On the weekend. Mm -hmm. so, so, another use for on, right? Uh, uh -huh. For the days of the week. For the uh -huh. months, for the years. Yeah. Not for the summer. Not for the years. We wouldn't say on t 2013. We would say in 2013. Yeah. <laughs> but you are right about the days of the week. On Monday, I went to work. On Saturday, I hung out with my friends. Um. In March is my, or my birthday is in March. Um, my birthday is in December. Yeah, so. For, for a season, on, you on mean? March. For, for a season, yes. we use it. Yes, we use in for seasons as well. In the springtime, I go on vacation. Um, in the wintertime, I... Swim. <laughs> if you're Kristoff in the winter time, you swim. <laughs> if you're Schnee in the winter time, you build a fire. <laughs> so, um, but let's get back to at. Um, we, we also use at for a lot of just common expressions. Um, Juan, you mentioned at home. Um, we also talk about I'm at work or I'm at school. I'm at, at college. Say that again. At college, no? I'm at college. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm at the common positions. I'm at the doctor's office. Um, 
at the conference, at the party, at the airport. Yeah. But yeah. now I am confused. You said before that you can use in when we are in a ample space, and now you say that we can use at. Oh my God, I confuse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look at it this way. <clears throat> let me let me put this on the board. Um, I fix this so you can see it. Damn. I choose. I think uh, in the airport uh, is is closed, no? It's a space, but uh, it's possible one airport in this in in a city is a concrete uh, place. You know, it kind of is that. It kind of depends, Adela. Let Let's do a house. Let's talk about a house real quick. Okay. Nice house. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and nice dogs. Here we'll, we'll even, you know, just got a got a walkway and yes. The driveway. <laughs> I'll be. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So <laughs> um, playing picture. I'm playing picture. So all right. So if I am saying. I'm at home. That can. Let's say somebody asks me, "Where are you?" Okay. Let's where say are you? Asking the question, "Where are you?" Then I can say, "I'm at home." You are at the ball. Uh, so if you say, "I am in home," what is the difference? If you, say, you if somebody asks you, "Where are you?" I would not say, "I'm in home." Okay, I would say I'm at home. Now, if I, if I, um, if I were to say I'm in the house, that would mean that I'm physically inside. Think of the box again, Juan. Hmm. Maybe I'll post when something. You about, when you are talking about the building itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, when you are physically inside a place, you would use in. So um, in the skyscraper. Right. Mm -hmm. So you can say, like, okay, going back to the whole airport thing. Let's say I'm arriving at the airport, and I haven't gone inside yet, and somebody calls me on, my, my husband calls me on my cell phone, and he says, where are you? And I can say, well, I'm at the airport. Yeah. Okay. Now let's say I go inside the airport, and but you then can I'm, say you are in a lobby. Right, in the lobby. Mm -hmm. Or I'm in the airport. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Have, so. Have, mm -hmm. Don't let it confuse you guys too much. Sometimes, yeah. like I said, because going back to the whole corner idea. Um, you can say that the restaurant is on the corner of Main Street and Elm Street. But then you could also say to somebody, meet me at the corner of Main Street, Ma Main Street and Elm Street. And then if I'm talking about a room, I would say the picture is in the corner of the room so don't let it don't overthink it too much um, do the best you can with it a lot of um, preposition work is practice so but let's um just just roll with it again these are guidelines these are guidelines what I'm giving you today is simply guidelines on how to use these prepositions but let's talk about the Big Bang Theory oh um, briefly. How many of you know what the Emmys are? Uh, when uh, when the when the universe started, there uh, all the universe uh, was a point uh, and uh, a small point. 
And there was a logic. Oh, well, this is, we're talking about a TV show, not the actual okay. theory. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, okay. no, this is, a, this is a TV show. So let me give you the link. Let me give you the link to this article. Yes, uh, give me it. How many of you know what the Emmys are? Are you talking about uh, his girlfriend Emmy or the uh, prize Emmy? Oh, the, prize. the prizes. The prizes. The Emmys are an award show. Okay, so here, let me share this with you. Okay, so the, the statues that you see on the side here, these are Emmy statues. So this article is about the Big Bang Theory's Jim Parsons. You guys probably know him better as Sheldon. And um, what he thinks about um, his show winning the Emmy. So I'm going to, this isn't a very long article. I'm going to read it to you really quick, and then we're going to talk about it. The category of comedy. You will read the, you will read the article, yes? Yeah, I'm going to read it out loud to you guys. So, all right, so I'll make it a little bit bigger too. So, Jim Parsons is cautiously optimistic that this is the year CBS's The Big Bang Theory could take home Emmy gold. The actor who picked up his fifth Best Actor in a Comedy Series nomination Thursday for his role as the neurotic Sheldon Cooper tells The Hollywood Reporter that earning a series nomination, its third, in its sixth season feels even sweeter than his individual mention. There's something about having finished season six and being so entrenched in this work now, he said from New York, where he's been filming Ryan Murphy's HBO adaptation of The Normal Heart. We're in such a good spot with it. In our audience, things have gone so well. Because of all that and how long we've been on, there's something even more sweet about it. It feels even more of an honor getting to go. Every year that goes by, there are more shows to choose from, and it seems that our odds would go down exponentially to be included. While TV's number one scripted comedy has yet to take home the statuette, the always logical Parsons said there's, quote, no reason that this year couldn't be Big Bang's year, considering its rating strength. You never know, he said, trying to prognosticate anything on an award show is shaky ground to stand on. A million different things could happen. Every time you hear a name or show that wins, you think, oh, of course. Then there are, then there are several who say, you're kidding. That's what keeps these shows exciting. If you enjoy watching them, then it's own, its own version of reality TV in a weird way. Parsons used his Emmy morning to stump not for himself or co-star Mayim Bialik, I think is how you say her name, who picked up her second nomination for playing Sheldon's girlfriend, Amy, or even guest actor and a comedy nominee, Bob uh, Newhart, but instead for the writers, including first year showrunner Steve Malaro. I'm very happy for the show's nomination. It reflects the writers and producers. They really are the reason for the season. It would be a joy to be part of the winning series, but for them, I'd really relish the chance to get to, uh, the chance to see them, Chuck Lorre, Steve Malaro, Bill Prady, and all writers. We'll see. It'll keep it exciting. Co-star Bielik, meanwhile, told The Hollywood Reporter from San Jose that she initially didn't think she was nominated. I'm as shocked as if Chuck Lorre were nominated as supporting actress. I feel like I do not even belong, she said. Asked if she felt the Emmy would be the perfect cherry on top of a widely successful season, she was again optimistic. We were hoping last year was our year, she said from San Jose, where she was vacationing with her former mother-in-law and children. The show has built such momentum. It could be, I think we're so deserving to be nominated. Our writers write a heck of a show, and I'd love for this to be their year. So, do you guys think that um, the Big Bang Theory should win? 
What is competition? Uh, I, I think it's, it's getting better and better, this show. Yeah. But a huge glass. I hope so. But, uh, don't know. You hope so? So I think a lot of you know I actually do not watch The Big Bang Theory. So. And me too. <laughs> um, I do not watch the show. I never have. Um, but I know a lot of you do. So I figured this would be good for us to talk about. Um, but you I have to, if you want to uh, know what geek thing. Say that again. You have to if you want to know what geeks think. Okay. All right. I'll try. I'll try. I'll 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 watch a couple of episodes and see. So, it's I watch a all lot about of the geeks. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm a geek, so I'm sure I'll probably like it. Yeah, so you should. Uh, I should uh, like it. <laughs> and this woman is uh, Biari. Nice. Nice. All right. So um, what I want to ask you guys is um, where does... No, not about the theory, Kareem. No. <laughs> about the TV show. This is a TV and film class. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, where, so going back to prepositions and whatnot, where does your favorite TV show take place? Where? <coughs> my, yeah, my, my favorite show... TV show take place on CNN. On CNN? CBS. Do you watch the news? Oh, CBS? On CNN. You like to watch the news, Kareem. Yeah. Uh, documentary, not not only news. Documentaries. Where where have some of the documentaries taken place that you've watched? Um, for example, National Geographic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, National Geographic. Yeah, I watch National. But they have things like um, they have shows that take place in Africa. They have shows that take place in all over the world. Yeah, all over the world. All, all over the world. Like Discovery too. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but where does your favorite TV show take place? Something that's not a documentary. Can I? Yeah, go for it, Fabiana. My favorite TV show take place is in Miami, I think. In Miami? Yes. What's your favorite TV show? Uh, in this moment, Dexter. Dexter? Yes. Nice. All right. I have a lot of friends that watch. I don't watch Dexter either. A lot of friends that watch it, though. So nice, nice. Johnny, what about you? Where does your favorite TV show take place? Uh, well, in USA. <laughs> it's the best answer for me. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. Well, um, if I remember, it happened in Malibu, I think. Uh, where you know, uh, two and a half men is uh, available, you know. Malibu. So it's my favorite <laughs> to this area, and it's happened in Malibu. Two and a half men. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like two and a half men too. That takes place in Malibu. Malibu, Malibu California. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, can anybody tell me about a TV show or a movie that takes place in your country? In my country. My country is uh, famous about uh, series, series, drama. About what? In Arab. Dr drama, drama, drama. Drama? Yeah. Okay. Series, series. Okay. All right. About a uh, series. A drama series? series. 
سيريز الجرامة سيريز يس يس از كريم برينتد اي واز ثينكينغ اباوت ات بات اي كان ريمبر نو وان بيكوز اي نو ذا ذير از ا لوت اوف موفيز ميد ان مكسيكو بات وات وير ذير اي تيك بليس اي دون نو Maybe the most common here are the soap operas, that there are a lot. Telenovelas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they said where it takes place in every where in Mexico, and every state in the Mexico. Do you watch yeah, telenovelas one? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Just when my wife watched it, but uh, I have to see it by force. Yeah, yeah. But I don't like it. You don't like them? Krzysztof, can you tell me about a TV show or a movie that takes place in Poland? Mm, no idea. No idea? No? Nothing you can know. No? Oh? Now that you mention is curious that all what I like is in the USA, mainly in, in the uh, and and United Warner Channel, in the Studio Universal and Warner. Mm -hmm. Everything is doing in Hollywood, I think. Yeah, most of them. A lot of a lot of um, movies and TV shows are being filmed. Now in North Carolina, California, North North Carolina, it's on the other side Carolina. of the USA. Yeah. The so. new um, the West again? So summer is still filmed here in California, but a lot of it's too crowded here, and it's there's so many people that live here that it's hard for them to shut down roads and. Things like that in order to make good movies. So they're going elsewhere to make um, to make movies. Do you think it's gonna be the new Hollywood? North Carolina. Yeah. Um, I don't think anything will ever be like Hollywood. <laughs> Thank God, because I don't know if we can handle more than But, uh, because than I one know Hollywood. The, um... I know that the most, uh, how do you say, the channels uh, that talk about not uh, news are on in Atlanta, right? In where? In Atlanta, in Georgia. Atlanta? Um, no, well, Fox News is in New York. I want to say, I don't know where CNN is. It's, it's in Atlanta, I quite, uh, I think. So, yeah, um, that's a good question. I'm not sure. I mean, where I'm from in Arizona, um, we had movies, some very famous movies filmed there as well. Um, John, everybody know who John Wayne is? John what? John, John Wayne is? Yeah. John Wayne. Ah, John Wayne, yeah. Yeah, John Wayne. John Wayne spent a lot of time in Tucson um, at a place called um, Old Tucson, and they used to film a lot of westerns there. Um, we also had a golf movie um, called Ten Cup that was filmed in a place called Tubac outside of Tucson. So, I don't know. I mean, Hollywood is famous for where all the celebrities live and stuff, but um, where movies and TV shows are being filmed, I think, is changing. Now that I remember, the, there are many, many, well, at least two or three movies that were made here in Mexico. In some places, um, Veracruz, and mm -hmm. Cancun. Yeah, yeah. I am making memory, and it's they are yeah. being filmed here. Yeah, one of my favorite movies takes place in Mexico and was filmed in Mexico. <clears throat> Two 
Two Mules for Sister Sarah. You should watch it. It's a great movie. So, what does it mean, me? It's a good movie. So. All right, guys, but let's do some assessment um, before we run out of time. So, yeah, mules or horses are kind of like horses, but they have really big ears. Like, really big, big ears. ears. Big ears, yeah. He can hear everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a noun and a preposition. And when it's your turn, your goal is to give me a sentence using that noun and preposition. So, for example, if I say car then you would say, I'm riding in the car with my mom, or whatever, yeah. So, I'll give you a noun, and you have to figure out which preposition to use and give me a sentence, okay? Okay. So, Fabiana. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You can I'm going to have you go first. Okay. Um, chair. I'm sitting on my chair right now. I'm sitting on my chair right now. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Um, Christoph. Yes. Um, I see we'll be creepy. <laughs> I know I want to give Kristoff a hard one. Um, <laughs> how about milk? Mm, milk uh, is in a bottle. The milk is in a bottle. Good. Good job. Nice. Good. Um, one. How about... Work. I am... I am, I am at work not right now. I am at work right now. Good. Good, good. Um, Antonio. Are you there, Antonio? Yes, you sure? All right. Um, Brazil. Brazil. She will travel to Brazil tomorrow. Okay, give me a sentence with um, an in, at, or on with Brazil. She was in Brazil yesterday. <clears throat> Say that again. She was in Brazil yesterday. Well, I need a sentence with Brazil in it. What, teacher? Give me a sentence with using Brazil and in, on, or at. The three? Well, you're going to have to pick one. Ah. Whichever one you would use with when you're talking about Brazil. Can you give me a sentence, Antonio? Yes, teacher. She was in Brazil yesterday, right? Or no? She was in Brazil yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's good. That's good. Good, good. Um, Abdul. Yes, uh, teacher. Um, give me an easy one. 
<laughs> All right, death. This. This. Death. Yes, this. Uh -huh. uh, this uh, on my on my disk. Uh, uh, give me another one. No, you were doing. <laughs> More easy than that. <laughs> you got it. just finish the sentence. You started on my desk. On my desk. Uh, okay. Can we see? Can I say uh, that there there is a big uh, cockroach on my desk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, you can. Yes, there is a big cockroach on my desk. That's disgusting, but I love it. It's perfect. Good job. Nice job. <laughs> um, Johnny. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. Um, Are you ready? Uh, easy one, please. Come on, teacher. Oh, she's thinking a lot. <laughs> yeah. She will give you a difficult one. Yeah, yes, I know. <laughs> I know. She is. She will open the dictionary and uh, check out. <laughs> you will see. <laughs> All right. Kitchen. Um, I was on kitchen preparing my lunch. On? Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, in the uh, in the kitchen, uh, I can find my lunch. Okay. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. More or less. Okay. <laughs> you gotcha. <laughs> good, honey. Good. Good. And Kareem. Um. Uh, how about door? Oh. There is a famous thing. I asked I asked you a question about door. Oh. We we talked about that. I as yeah. soon as you typed that, I think I typed in. I was thinking door as well. What would you say? Let me ask you that. What would you say, Kareem? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Someone is knocking at the door. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Someone is knocking at the door. But we can, we can say I'm um, I'm at the door or on the door. Depends on how you're using it. <laughs> like you can say the note is on the door. But if somebody is physically yes, I'm talking the about door. the person. Uh huh. Yeah. And the window. Window. Um. There is a. Let's see. There are curtains on the window. There are Curtain? curtains on the window. You could say. Um, what is a curtain mean? What is mean? Oh, curtains. Curtains. Yes. They're um, they're decorations that hang. Like when you want to keep light from coming in the window. There you go. Light comes in the window. Um, when you want to keep light from coming in the window, you use curtains. Mm -hmm. You can say. I saw a, a bird on the window. You actually say I saw a bird through the window. True. Okay. Yeah. 
What person? What? What are you talking about, Cream? If I say I'm, I'm in, I'm at the window, or I'm, I am. Uh, I'm at the window. The yes, I'm at the window, just like you're at the door. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Same thing. Yep, same thing. Awesome. Good job, guys. Nice conversation on TV and um, Big Bang and um, all of that good stuff. So. I hope that um, you all have a fantastic weekend. The new Colingo starts on Monday. So we will have the new Colingo. So if you have that 50% off coupon, make use of it. And um, I hope to see you guys on Monday. So have a good weekend, everyone. And I'll see yeah. you, you too. Bye. 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 Bye, you teach, Chuck.